So it's time for Tato Tato. Now you know that on Tato Tato, we are coming to fill you in, okay, with all the juice, the news, what's been happening and trending in entertainment news circles this week. So I'm starting with Funny Face and Lewin. These two great talents have gone head to head. Now this is because Zion Felix um, interviewed Lewin um, and Lewin said that when it comes to Ghana's favorite actors, Funny Face is not part. Hmm. Now he mentioned um, Kweku Menu, he mentioned Akobatu, he mentioned Van Vika, but he said that Funny Face wasn't part. Now Funny Face, upon watching this interview, he went off on social media. He was so pissed, he was so angry. Now I'm going to quote what Funny Face said. And I read it's lengthy, so I'm just going to you know pick bits and pieces of it. Now he said, Kojun Kansa, you're so envious of everybody. You wish everything in this world is yours. People like you end up miserable in life. You are in so much pain, Koju. I pray that Jehovah Almighty bring you out of this evil place in one piece. You have fought everybody around you. Now you want to bring it on funny face. You said, you know they fear the name. I don't worship lesser gods like you. I worship the most high God. I'm bigger than you spiritually and physically. Never try. Give thanks to funny fans who are stopping me. Like it go over you. I pray you can read this though to change. Don't try to bring your evil eyes indeed on me now he goes on and on there were some insults here and there and all of that but what do i think i think that like i earlier said these two are great talents i mean why are we even arguing about who is ghana's favorite favorite tool not even best we are arguing about who is ghana's favorite actor when there are like a lot of things in the industry that have to be checked why are we even doing this to ourselves and these two, listen, they are talented. Everybody has their, you know, their niche or their their field or specifications or whatever. So, see, you guys should just forget it. Make a movie together and patch up. It will be a hit. Like, you never know, right? Because there are better things to do. You guys are old, man. You are fathers, man. Think. All right. Moving on now, um, Kim Promise and Sewa Ami here. Now, uh, <laughs> there's been news or there's been rumor, let me just put it that way that Kim Promise and Sewa Ami here are a thing or have a thing or are an item. Now, Kim Promise has dispelled these rumors. Now, the rumors even started when um, Kim Promise and Sewa. I mean, he apparently went for Kill Beats Charles naming together. Now, they were seen in a few videos here and there. Um, we got this video from Fame Bags. So, yeah. Now, after this, the rumors became, you know, a lot all over social media. But Kim Promise has said that he is not dating Sewa Ami here. He said this in an interview with Sami K Media. He said that. His music is his girlfriend. His music is his focus. Please, you people, don't, don't, don't worry, Kim. Promise, okay. He's not thinking about any girl. Although we know that some girls are passing through here and there, or he is passing through here and there. But he's saying that mm -mm, no, he and Sewa are not a thing. So please, let's just stop forcing people on people, okay? For you know, crap. His mind is not there. You know that's what happens when you start teasing two people, even if their mind is not there, their mind ends up going there. Like when we're kids, you know, if they are teasing you or somebody, even if you don't like the person, the thing will start coming. The light will start coming by fire, by force. <laughs> so, well, there you have it. Kim Promise and Sewa are not dating. They are not together. They are not a thing. Lastly, for entertainment news, Stoneboy has opened his beam shop so um there were a lot of fans who came out to support 
a lot of fans who you know came out to meet him he performed his wife was there to support him obviously so it was a success now again stone boy <laughs> please stone boy is now a proper proper businessman so he has exercise books as well his wife posted exercise books with his face on it so the whole idea is you know they are already exercise books with um stone boy and other paraphernalia but stone boy has asked them to put a stop to it so now he's going to be doing his own things himself okay he's cashing out on it because stone boy has said that he won't let anybody cash out on his sweat so whatever is going to be being now is going to be produced by stone boy from stone boy with stone boy about stone boy talking about cashing out good moves stone boy i believe that anything you have to do to make that money make that money that brings us to the end of title title for this week moving on to other box what's been trending on social media this week now have you seen that video of ibrawan's daughter driving on the n1 it's crazy it's mad i don't see how that should happen i don't see why that should happen first off she's underage and she's been made to drive on the n1 and he wasn't even sitting beside her he was sitting behind her his son was sitting beside her how does that even happen how and why should that happen unless the three of them want to die i mean no matter how good the girl is no matter how well he has taught her to drive i mean you can do that at home you can do that in the neighborhood even that is questionable but it's better than the n1 anything could have happened i mean in one of the videos there was traffic but in another it was a free flow and yo i don't know if people are going to take this up and blow it up and he's going to be in trouble with the law and all of that but i i really don't see the sense the sense the sense in doing that and you don't even have to prove anything to anybody your daughter knows how to drive good fair enough wait till she gets to a good age driving at this age on the n1 nah it doesn't work for me and for a lot of other people so that brings us to the end of our social media fun and trends which we call out of the box coming up five and five so you can stay 